My name is James. Um, I am a fitness instructor at Tower 42 and today I'm going to be taking a core class. So I've got a list of exercises that we're going to run through. We're going to do about three to four rounds on each exercise with a certain amount of time on and you're going to have a certain amount of time for a rest. Um, it should be quite difficult. You'll probably see me struggle as well. Uh, but try to make your way through the whole whole round, each round, um, and only stop when I say to stop. Um, if I stop, don't stop, <laughs> unless I say. Um, so yeah, the first exercise that we're going to be doing is, so we're going to be lying down on our backs. We're going to have our legs in the air, knees stay in the air, hands on your head. Up to the middle, up to the left, and then up to the right. So every time you come up, you want to try to get your elbows to touch your knees. The first one you come up to the middle, second one you come up and you turn slightly to the left, and then the third one you come and you turn slightly to the right. Um, for this one, we're going to be doing 40 seconds on. So you're going to have a 40 seconds period when you're working, and then you're going to have 20 second rest after the 40 second period and we're going to go for three rounds on this one um, so yeah hopefully you're ready uh, this will this will hurt and you should feel it tomorrow um, so yeah I'm going to start 40 seconds three two one And stop there. So that was 40 seconds. We've got a 20 second rest and then we're doing it all again. So hopefully if you're doing that right you should be feeling it slightly in your core by now but we've got two more rounds of it and by the third round you'll be struggling. Ready? Second round. Three, two, one. That was round two. I'm starting to feel it now, so hopefully you should be as well. Got one more round, last one. Got 10 seconds left of this rest. Three, two, one. that was three rounds of the first one apparently some people can't see the video should be working so yeah that was three rounds of the first one if you've done that right you should be in um, a considerable amount of pain we're going to move on to the second exercise which will be 
So we're going to be doing flutter kicks. Flutter kicks, you're going to be lying on your back. And you're going to be kicking like this. And we're going to aim to have our legs at around a 45 degree angle. So kind of like that. It makes it easier if you put your hands under your bum and do it like that. If you want to challenge yourself, just hands here or back of your head. Um, but whichever you feel comfortable, we're going to be doing 20 seconds kicking our legs. So we're going to be doing 20 second kicking. And then after that, straight away, we're going to do a 20 second holding legs out straight. So we're doing 40 seconds on in total. You're going to have a 20 second rest after the hold. So we're doing 20, 20, 20. Then we just get a timer. All right, ready? Same again, we're gonna do 20 seconds on. Well, 20 second kick, 20 second hold, 20 second rest. We're gonna do three rounds. Three, two, one, let's go. And then we're going to hold it, 20 seconds hold. Ten seconds left. And stop there. That was round one, so we've got two more rounds of that. We've got a 20 second rest, we've got 10 seconds left in this rest. It burns already. It's gonna burn a lot more. Get ready, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, hold it. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, that was round two. One more round. I'm dying, as you can tell. <laughs> 10 seconds left in this race. And we've got the last round, round three. Three, two, one, let's go. Last one. Ten seconds. And hold it. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh. So, if you've been doing that right, you should be in. Um, a lot, a lot more pain than you were after the first round. Next one we're doing, we're doing crunches. So we're going to do 30 seconds on for this one, and then we're going to go for a 25 second rest. Um, because this one is quite hard. If you've got like a little step or something to sit on, uh, I'd recommend that. If not, you can do it on the floor. Uh, it won't be a problem. So crunches, we're doing, we're going to be sitting like this. Hands here or hands behind you, up to you. We're just doing knees to chest. If you are experienced with this one, you'll know that this one does hurt quite a bit. So yeah, hopefully you're ready. 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Let's go.
10 seconds left. Round one. That, that one's tough, I promise you. Got 15 seconds left on this rest. The workout's half an hour long. <laughs> Get ready. Three, two, one. Round two done, 25 seconds, we've got one more round and I'm in a lot of pain, probably just as much as most of you, 10 seconds, get ready, last round, three, two, one, let's go. And rest there. So, that one, as I mentioned, is killer. Um, I'll give you one and a half minute rest before we move on to the next one. The next one we're doing is going to be Russian twist. If you don't have a weight at home, that's no issues. Um, I'll show you three variations, obviously, that you can do for this one. So, you can start with feet on the floor and you just sit in. And you'll be turning and touching the floor on both sides. Alternatively, you can hold a weight, do the same thing. Or if you want to challenge yourself but you haven't got a weight, feet in the air, touching the floor on both sides, or feet in the air and holding the weight. So obviously feet in the air and holding the weight is going to be the hardest one. Um, but what I'd recommend, try to get as far through the round as possible with your feet in the air. And then obviously put your feet down and continue the round because it will just make it more intense. We're going to do 30 seconds of Russian twist and then we're going to do 20 second rest. We're going to do three rounds on this one. How's everyone feeling? <laughs> Killing. Okay, so let me set this timer. So we're doing 30 seconds Russian twist, 20 second rest. Uh, I'll probably do the same, start with feet in the air and then put my feet down maybe halfway through the round. Let's see how far through I can get. Um, so yeah, another thing, try to keep your head facing directly forward throughout the whole round. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds left. That was round one. Thirty seconds. Keeps my get ready. Round two, three, two, one. Oh, 
Yeah, I had to put my feet down halfway through that one. There was no, <laughs> no chance I was keeping my feet up. But that was round two, we got one more round. We might do a fourth one for fun, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. Get ready. Last one, three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> no fourths and people saying. Fourth round. Let's see. 16 minutes. We've got 14 minutes left. Um, okay. We'll, we'll leave out on a fourth round. If you're doing this and you want to throw in a fourth round, do it. <laughs> We're gonna leave it out, partly because I, I don't think I can manage it either. But next one we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing side crunches. So this one, we've already done the Russian twist to hit the obliques, but now we're gonna hit the obliques even further. We're gonna be doing side crunches. So you're gonna be like this, on your elbow, hand on your head, both feet are gonna be in the air, and you take your knees to your elbow. And then when you go out, you stretch your elbow out, and then you come back in. And this one, we're gonna be doing two rounds on each side. So in total, we're gonna to be doing four rounds. We'll do one round here, turn, other side, one round, and then we'll go back and repeat. We're gonna be doing 25 second rounds with a 20 second rest, just because this one um, can be quite hard as well. <clears throat> so yeah. I'll give you guys 30 second rest to recover. See what you're saying. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Two rounds each side. Three, two, one. Let's go. You need to really commit to this one. Get your knees touching your elbow. That's the only way you're going to feel it. Same again. Other side. Three, two, one. So same again, back on the other side. Who knows, we might go for three rounds each side on this one. We got the time, get ready. Same again, other side. Ten seconds left. Should be feeling the, this one all in this side bit here, which is your obliques. Three, two, one.
think, let's see. We're gonna go for one more round each side. <laughs> I'm sorry, has to be done. We've got to extend it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing three rounds. Same again. Let's go, three, two, one. Last one. I promise this is the last one. Ten seconds, get ready. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Last round, done. We've got two more exercises, so we're almost done. Next one we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing V sits. We're going to be doing 30 seconds on, and same again, 20 second rest. So with V sits, <laughs> yeah, we did three rounds. <laughs> with V sits, try as best as you can with this one. I don't know what I'll be able to do. My core is killing me already. But, you're gonna be lying down, feet and hands, and you're gonna be coming up, and you're trying. You ideally wanna keep your legs straight, but my mobility doesn't really allow it. But you wanna be coming up and trying to touch your toes. Um, and obviously, bringing your core up. But only gonna do 30 seconds on with a 20 second rest. We've got three rounds of it. And then to finish, we're gonna do a plank. One minute plank. So we're almost done. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me get a drink. And then we're going to start this last round. <clears throat> All right. 30 seconds on. Three, two, one. That one's tough. I'm not sure how far you'll be able to get with it. <sighs> yeah, I'll throw the uh, I'll throw the routine in the um, in the description <sighs> so you can follow it. Let's go. I'm dying. <laughs> We've got one more round, 10 seconds rest. Get ready. This is the last one. And then we got a plank. Three, two, one. Ah. 
So, like me, you should have uh, really struggled on that last one. But, you'll be pleased here. We're pretty much at the end of the workout. What we're going to do now is a one minute plank. <laughs> this one's good. It is, it's only hard because it's right at the end of the, of the, uh, of the rest of them. What we're going to be doing one minute plank. So let me get a timer up. So we're doing one minute, I'll give you another 10 seconds and we're going to start. This is the last one, you'll be pleased to hear. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Twenty seconds done. Halfway, thirty seconds. <clears throat> Twenty seconds left. Three, two, one. Disconnection. You might have lost me for a few a few minutes. So that was a workout. You should feel that tomorrow if you've done that right. I'm gonna show you a few stretches because what happens when you train core is your hip flexors get tight. So we're gonna stretch those out real quick. I'll give you a few seconds to recover. Before we stretch them. <coughs> Hopefully the stream's still going. You should. Feel that tomorrow. If you've done that right. Yep, alright. Still working. Okay. Stretches that we're gonna do. So you're gonna get into a wide lunge. So this front foot's gonna be fairly far forward. And what you're gonna do if you can. Find something to hold on to, should probably be better to demonstrate like this. You want to hold on to something, you want to grab this back foot and pull it in, and then you want to lean far forward as far as possible, and you should start to feel a stretch here, keeping your body as upright as possible. And you just want to pull in and hold it for about 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. Same again on the other side. And that should stretch out your hip flexors. I hope you've all enjoyed that maybe you'll see me here again next week you're welcome everyone I'm gonna put the um, the routine in the description but yeah well done for getting it done if you followed along or if you're gonna watch it at some point during the day well done it does kill and I'm probably gonna be in a lot of pain for the next few days <laughs> so yeah hope everyone enjoyed and um, I've been James. My Instagram is down there, on one of the sides, I think it's down there. Feel free to follow me or message me for any information. Peace.